Welcome back. <clears throat> Why does my voice keep going when I first start? <clears throat> I gotta put inflection behind it. I gotta put emotion behind it. Uh, yeah, my camera died. The battery ran out on the uh, DSLR. Uh, so I learned some new things. Uh, apparently I can get a, a thing called an AC adapter, which means many things I thought, but it's uh, basically, it's another kind of battery, but it has a connection to it that just plugs into the electric power. So I don't need a battery if I'm doing shit at home. So I just went and grabbed one of them because they're cheap. And uh, I have one of these arm things that can lean over, but uh, I've had it for years. Uh, but I must have thrown out the extra little things came with it because one of them is a camera mount. So I, I ordered one of them and hopefully I can get a camera mount so the camera will be directly overhead and be much nicer to look at. Um, so now I'm going to finish <laughs> the Ghost Rider. Uh, let's get back to the work desk. Haha, -ha, we are working. I was just about to do the fun stuff. Man, it sucked. I moved my keyboard. Just about to do the fun stuff. I put all the like water on here, so it's extra fucked up right now. Um, I got to do that again. I got myself some clean water anyway, because I'm gonna put all the, the fiery color in and stuff it up. Hopefully not, but we'll see. So. So I use acrylic inks, which means, unlike watercolor, which you can sort of peg back if you've got it where you don't want it, you can put water onto it and kind of get rid of it. Uh, ink's here to stay. So when I do it this time, uh, I'm going to be trusting the bleed and the tones. I like archival inks because you can, you can really tone things up and add tint like add tints to an entire image after it's dried but um if you put yellows into blues it still makes green which kind of sucks so lots of water on this page this is good paper too um it takes the ink really well so far yeah, it's not bleeding as much as i thought it might you know what? That's what I have this for. Little spray thing. Gets the red out there. Out the yellow. So I want to leave a whole bunch white though too. So Because where it's intense enough, uh, it has to stay white. I feel like the lighting in my studio changed too. I don't have the overhead light on. That's probably something I should put on. I'll do that in a minute. I normally hate the overhead lighting in the studio because it's like a weird, weird bright light, but it doesn't show up on camera that much, so it's useless. I just like my soft light of my uh, lamp. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Let's go whole hog. Yeah, get the get the yellow all up there. Because, I mean, realistically, if light of a certain kind is in a room, it's going to it's gonna shine off on every... It's going to appear on everything. It's going to give everything a tint. So it should be a little yellowish. And because I say so, I like warm colours. I like the yellows. Because then I get to screw it up completely with reds. The logo on this book is a little too intense for me. It's a little less logo-y and more just a, a weird photoshopped illustration plonked in the middle. Like, we understand it says Ghost Rider, so we, we, we get it. But it's a little over the top for logo design, I'd say. And I want the yellow to get pretty intense. But then I have to... I work the hell out of this paper, by the way. I always do. But, um, so be it. And then on the outer sides, it's more red. 
And, but of course it's going to bleed back into it, so I need to get my snot rag. Yeah, we don't want you going there. Not too much. Snot rag is, uh, I bleed blue. My, my snot is blue. Yeah, we don't want you to go there too much. It's very... You get one chance with this stuff to make it work or we'll stuff it up completely. I mean, I'm going to tint the whole skull eventually anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Great thing about my style is even a mistake looks like it was intentional because most of my art is literally a mistake. Yeah, get the vibrant right in there. You just won't get the vibrancy with watercolors that you will get with um, acrylic inks sometimes. Depending on the paper too, but they are very good. And if there's no one here watching it, then that's fine. I had a great time last time. But by finishing the stream, it means I get a nice singular video. Uh, I'll still have to edit out the two hour gap. Uh, I think I'm live. I should probably check that I'm live. I know I'm recording. Yeah, no, I'm recording. What is live? What is live? Way more people watch it at the end anyway. Um, yeah, you're going to have shine off on onto things. I want to make make his leg a little red. I'll probably fade some yellow into that. Get the intensity going down here. And I like the bleed. The bleed is everything. And try and get a bit onto his his arm and onto these things. But now I gotta color these in anyway, so they will have a separate color slightly. But I wanted to do the fun bit first and then technology buggered it up completely mm. yeah I don't want to overwhelm it do not want to overwhelm it 5 p.m. on a Sunday may not be the best time to live stream but I like it because that's when I actually get work done So you guys on uh, Patreon can watch this later, and uh, I'll try not to take it down until I put a public one up. Well, actually, I, I've got to see what happens when you resume the stream, if it just picks it up. And you can watch me be all shocked that the camera died. Okay, now the other fun bit. Yeah, that shows up really well on camera. Should I turn the light on? I'll turn the light on. Oop, I don't want to hit the tripod. Very professional of me. I don't care. I'm not about fancy streams. I want you to see everything. Everything. Well, not everything, but I don't care if I get up. I don't need to go to the screen or anything. I do need to not hurt the camera. So I have a thing coming, hopefully by tomorrow. So we'll see if it actually bears the weight. All right, first off, I need a little more yellow. Yellow's not really gonna show up too much on this, but we will see. Eh. Thought I heard my name outside. Apparently there's an NFL game on. Well, that knocked it. Spitting in through a straw. It's the way I've always done it. You can use a toothbrush, but... I don't know, it's just not this... It gives a different kind of splat. I like the boom splat, so... 
I'm going to use some red. The red will definitely show up. I'll need some more. Need some more. More red. Need a fair bit of, not too much ink, but just enough for a film. Yeah, I'm just using a shitty Starbucks straw. Straw usually lasts me like a, a long time. Sometimes too long. Yeah, just. I use my my arm. You know, it's it's very basic masking. I'm not fancy. Because I want I want it organic. I want it everywhere. I don't want a controlled clean. I like getting it on my face too. It's probably on my face. I suffer for my art. I suffer for your art. Jesus Christ. It's probably my clothes. Sometimes a big a big glob is just good anyway. This is some of the stuff that you just I don't think you can just can do digitally. I mean the algorithms are getting good, but an organic splat is what you want. Mmm. It's very sexual. I'm just blowing my wad all over the paper right now. Uh, yeah, what the hell? I go crazy sometimes, but I don't want to do that. Got it. And it's good because it comes off the, it shows up on the black as well. Unlike watercolor, which will just fade into it. So I'll dry that off there, and I hope there's no spiders because if there's a spider in my house, uh, my wife demands my immediate attention to go and kill it. It's one thing she's uh, ag uh, not agrophobic, uh, arachnophobic. So if I do put the screen on, I will put the screen on if I have to dash off and never kill a spider. Uh, I had some white ink in here. I need some more. Yeah, the yellow's not going to show up much, but the white will, so it'll give a nice contrast. At first, we paint it. Oh, I do have the microphone on. I hope the microphone's still good. Yeah, you're still good, right? I didn't touch. I didn't move you. I didn't change your settings. If the second part of this video is without audio, I apologize. But then you wouldn't hear that anyway, so... But it should be good. Yeah, it's registering. I hate technology. Things used to be simple. I didn't have to like, well, we couldn't live stream. So this is the miracle of technology, but uh, I choose to complain. Yeah. I choose to complain. So, so I don't know what makes this ink more than paint because sometimes it feels like paint, but it's, it's just a little bit not paint. It's just a little bit not paint. That's a very technical term. It behaves in a slightly different manner, but I mean, it's got all the the acrylic solvent chemical compound things in it. It just, I think it's bound with something slightly different to get the way it goes. I don't want the white to turn pink too much. You want contrast. And the eyes. I define the eyes. Put that around there. I should be working back into this with the snot rag a little bit. Get it, get it glowing. When you put the water in, it really adds to the effect, but then you've got to take it away and you've got to do more. And put something in his mouth. And I'll see if I can not screw this completely up. Yeah, it's. It was perfect and then it went away in his mouth because I don't want too much white. 
in strange places. A glow is not meant to drip. A glow is meant to glow. Um, put them all here. Probably gonna have to let it dry a little bit to do the final touches, but I can add a bit there, a little bit there. Some lines you can do with a brush, but I like the really fine lines of um, the pens at the end. And getting these little chains in. If I was on doing this on computer, I'd be thinking like there should be a lot more yellow on the chain, but first there is white because the yellow won't show up terribly well. And put it on here. It's not going to come through as much. Foregrounds, backgrounds, midgrounds, that's a, that's what it's about. Yeah, it's very wet here, so. Got to be careful. I don't even know if anyone's watching right now. Let us have a look. Let us have a look. I'm loading it. Uh, no, that's the old one. Maybe I shot the wrong link out. Maybe, let's have a look. Uh, live. It's set for the same stream, so is the link the same? It doesn't appear like the link is the same. Uh, it's like, I have to let you guys know that it's on freaking Patreon. Why don't I just follow the link I already gave you and see if I'm live? No, that's that is the old one. The the program lied to me. <sighs> uh, anyway. I'll put the freaking image in again. I'm gonna put it here. There it is. All right, oops, new look. New link, no new link to live stream. And I'm just gonna be incredibly professional and just add that there and then make sure it's part of, this is all how it happens on Patreon, not all the time at all. Certainly not when I'm live, so. There you go. Now maybe someone can find it. Uh, yeah. So there's that. Sorry, guys. I was wrapping it up. You can see it all later as well. But I'd like to give you a fighting chance to actually watch it. So yeah, I'm gonna put some put some th thick acrylic on top of that bit there. But this is looking pretty white. Want white, not pink. And he's going to have a lot of splatter in the eye because that's a much bigger flame in the eye there than earlier. And I think blue flames are the hottest, right? But blue is not going to work with this shit. It just won't. Not the way the inks work anyway. Can't keep them separate like that too easily. So. We just give him an entirely blue flame or reds and yellows. And I'll pick back there. No, that's not meant to work like that. It's not meant to. And I gotta check my phone. Yes. I think. My wife is asking if the cat is in here with me. Her cat. Boris. He's probably under the couch. Oh, I can't see him, but uh, I 
Can you? No, you can't see, and I can't turn the chair that way. I have one right behind me. I have my little girl. Can't see him, but live streaming. Great, I have a hair on here. It's not one of my hairs, it's a cat hair. It's too fine to be my hair. You can clone my cat. Sometimes lots of little bits get stuck into this stuff. So you get bonus when you get my art. You get my DNA from Spit and uh, potentially also my pets. Occasionally. Little, just little bits of hair occasionally. Not often. I'm not that dirty, but there's the hair, you know, when you have pets and you have wet things that things stick to. It's extra. It's a bonus. I promise. Actually, I think it's just like a fluff, like a weird, it's not animal hair or anything. I can get it out, but then I'm going to really spoil the paint. It's going to be painted in and sealed in for all eternity, so. <sighs> ah, Keith is back. Glad to see the finish. Yeah. Come for the money shot. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> it's got a little bit of work left to do, but this was the fun bit where I go, boom, the skull is meant to be the, 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 the thing everyone's paying attention to. Ideally, if I did my job right. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hail Squid. Thank you for joining us. And joining me back again. Sorry, it, the camera died and I had to wait for it to charge. We should have enough charge for this. I have just invested, like I said at the, right at the beginning when no one was watching, uh in an AC adapter so the camera won't die and also a uh, camera mount for my arm that can go horizontal so hopefully I can put the thing directly on top so I'll just be like this the whole time well we should oh, go about here yeah that should be decent then I'll be almost professional not really but I'll be trying the more I do, the more I can invest, and the more I can um, uh, appear vaguely competent. One, I'd like to appear vaguely competent. I'm not like that in most things, so... If you can hear that, it's also trash day. So I think people are putting their trash cans out. Right outside. But apparently there was an NFL game on, and some people were very excited... But they don't sound like uh, sport fans in Australia. They weren't like excited when there was a score. They just like they were just all cheering and ranting for no reason, like con continuously. My neighbours make very strange animalistic noises sometimes. We've actually debated if their uh, like if their teenage son. He's actually disabled or special in some way. But then we realise that's probably just how teenage boys often sound. I don't know what they're wheeling through the laneway right now. But hopefully not a corpse. It sounds weird. Um, if you can hear it, enjoy. I have to. Yeah, do I want to put... What do I want to put else? Where, where else do I want to put some things? What i got to do is... i got to do the... Spikes. I was going to call them horns, but they're spikes. I should... Uh, you know, I can do this with pen afterwards. But it gives it a much more subtle... Slightly more subtle... Um, uh, white. It's not opaque white totally. It's just enough to give it a shine. Because light will be very intensely coming off some of the spikes. But not the whole bit. There's that one, and then there's this one. Screw it. 
screwed it up, I'll have to fix that. Yep. I can dab off the white slightly. So and he's got these here as well. So many chains. I hate drawing chain links. I'm not even good at it, so. So his chains are kind of highlighted now. Oh, he's got his belt as well. His belt. Oh, I'll have to fix that up. Just give it the hint of light. And then I'll figure that bit out uh, with the pen. I have no idea what's going on outside right now. But we have seen everything in that laneway. It was another night, uh, the neighbors called the cops because a car had literally parked outside their door with a guy in it and he was just waiting there for a very long time and then he passed out. So we think he was, uh, and we could hear the whole conversation when the cops turned up. It was They took him away. We think he was uh, looking to score and had uh, just zoned out and zonked out while sat in his car, completely in front of the noisy neighbor's house, so they called the cops. He seemed very disoriented when they got to him, so I'm glad he was taken care of. He needed some care. But maybe don't pass out in front of someone's house if you can help it anyway. Because who knows what would happen. But we have seen, uh, for the entirety of the summer, from June basically, uh, we're having fireworks every single night uh, on the beach, which is like a few blocks away from us. Some of them are really loud booms, so pets love that. Uh, we love that when we're trying to sleep, so some would literally like feel like they're shaking the house. But I uh, haven't heard any for a few nights now, which is nice. All right. But now that we're having some warm weather again, people are probably going to party on the beach at night anyway. So who cares? It's only a pandemic and the beach is meant to be closed. Beautiful. Do you see that splat? Do you see that? I'm very happy with that splat. Uh, that one too. Actually, I'm getting a, some nice, fine, splattery stuff right now. I want faint ones and heavy ones. I do not care about the logo, it can go over the logo. And the fire up. Yeah, it's really great to lean in and see my head. Um, yeah, put some on, like, it can, it can indicate a bit of shine as well. Or just look like I intended to do that. That's probably a little much, but. Yeah, I like a little bit of that. And where else, where else? This gets addictive, so. Yeah, that's a nice bit. I think that's all the, the white splat it needs. Yeah, I'll put one more bit. Just there. Because I wanted to. Don't give me shit. I, I, li I like doing splats. Most of my images I, I plan around splats. A little splatter effect. I know there are people that don't like the splatter, but if you if you actually like my work, then uh, splattering kind of comes as part of the deal. It does get a bit warped. I can flatten that out afterwards as well. It's just with so much water on it. Um, but it's, th it's really thick paper, so it'll actually, it'll actually collapse pretty well and go flat uh, it's obviously pretty wet right now um, when it's damp is the, one of the best times to use the white pen so and I can actually add more water and um, get rid of uh, the intensity of some of the white white lines too so they won't be this bright when I 
finalize it. Uh, sometimes it's too damp, the pen won't work on it, but oh, we're talking about a drive-by. It's uh, fantastic. I cannot wait for normal Seattle weather because that means shenanigans outside cease because no one wants to be outside. People can go back to being indoors, people drinking coffee and feeling miserable. Not like me. I like that stuff, but uh, that's why some people come to Seattle. Everyone else has to deal with it. I like a few like embers coming off as well. But... Uh, define the skull there. I'm to find the teeth because there's going to be a lot of white on the teeth, but not too much. I really lucked out, lucked out with the glow on the within the mouth too. That's pretty good. I'm actually proud of this one so far. It's like turned out better than I originally intended in the penciling stage. It's like oh, oh. actually the theory carried out carried off pretty well. Add the highlights to the to the chain link. Hmm. Looks like yeah, yeah. I gotta show the thing. I like the splatters too. They're the most important part of the art. Without splatters, we are nothing. We all started out as splatters. Somewhere, into something, ideally. Unless you were conceived via IVF. Well, even then, technically. There was a ideally a splatter involved and maybe a porno magazine or something well splattering just adds a sort of a texture and a and an organic randomness to a lot of stuff i mean you can use it just as pure texture i use it for highlights more than anything i mean you can make entire image out of the splatter effect if you're clever enough i am not that clever I just like a little cathartic release. Yeah, get that money shot. This is the, yeah, yeah th that was the money shot. The splattering was the money shot, I'd say, but it wasn't the finale. It's getting close to it though. But the stupid chains need their little highlights. It's annoying but it has to be done. And then I'll peg back the white that I've put in a bit in places. But I do have to definitely define the spikes. So that will be the fun bit. Yeah, I'm showing up on camera. The computer program lied to me. It said I could resume the stream but apparently it gave me a new link, so I will have to edit both of these into one, probably. Because it's a pretty damn abrupt ending. Otherwise. So I can edit out the little bit and just go right back on in. It just takes so long to uh, render videos on my computer. And my computer's not that slow or anything. It just takes a long time to do such things. Oh, no, there's another news update. Okay, a U.S. judge has temporarily blocked a Trump administration order banning app store downloads of TikTok. Well, you can still get TikTok. Well, that's human civilization saved. Sorry if you use TikTok. I don't use TikTok. I've seen some funny shit from TikTok. Yeah. I'm no fan of Chinese technology uh, kind of invading. And, you know, I'm not anti-Chinese, but the Chinese government uh, isn't exactly the uh, finest people in the world to trust. Not that American corporations are much better. 
but I guess there's some definite security issues. Slightly. There's a lot of politics involved with it too, obviously, but it's not going to affect me with TikTok. And I do like new players coming into markets because Facebook owns everything else. And that, who wants that? I will probably start posting some stuff to Facebook just because I can share it from the one media I'm already using, but I'm not on Facebook. I refuse to go back. It's, I mean, I'll, I'll use it. I won't let it use me. Which is very hard to do with Facebook, but Facebook uh, certainly brings a lot of misery to people as much as it helps them these days. Twitter, I try to, I try to be nice on Twitter. No one needs to hear me screaming and ranting anymore. Everyone else is doing it. Every single person thinks they know what's going on and they uh, can justify the world. So I used to love doing that with the politics because not everyone was interested and you had to try and bring people in. Now everyone's completely aware of everything and shocked and motivated. So I'm just going to uh, not be too antagonistic. Like gone are the days you could enjoy a good debate. Now it's literally, you're not going to change anyone's mind. That's the, the stupid thing. No one, no one likes a nice, uh, a nice correspondence anymore. Everyone's very angry. Every, so angry. Even if I agree with them, it's like everything's so absolutist. So I'll stick to art and having fun with an occasional, occasional, hopefully slight piece of pertinent news if it's not being talked about, so usually to do with the process of the politics rather than the politics itself, because there's so many things that media don't talk about that are actually um, things that aren't necessarily taking a side, although obviously one side can do something that another side can't. So I won't bore you with my talk of the Supreme Court. I'm adding the white highlight there. Uh, Twitter is the only one I use nowadays and I rarely post anything but photos of my cats. Dude, I'm telling you, Instagram. Instagram is is got a lot less anger um, and they love cat photos. And it's it's made purely for, for photos, really, for images. Um, Twitter, um, Instagram is my most fun one. Twitter I like for immediate, sort of immediate feedback if you have like I've asked questions and I've had interesting good answers about things I needed or take. I found out about the uh, a call that I can actually just have my camera up there run off um, power directly. I just have to buy an AC adapter. I didn't even know that was a thing. Not for that model. This is an old model. I figure new things probably have something, but I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't have known what to call it. So Twitter has helped me spend money, which I don't really have, but. Um, Nonetheless, I spend it on you guys. I mean, why else are you contributing? I've got to give back. So I thank you. You're helping me buy a camera mount and uh, an AC adapter, or whatever it's called for a DSLR camera. I bought that camera many years ago. It's still a really good camera. It's got a half decent lens on it, so. I mean, it looks pretty fine. It's got a depth of, oh, that's red, that's red paint. I'm not diseased. That's red paint. It's not focusing. Yeah, there we go, focus in my horrible hands. And then back to that. I'd use it for my face if I was uh, that narcissistic, but my face is nice enough in a very small window. The less of my face, the better. This is about art. But, uh, if I have a different setup when I move, I can put the camera behind, like in front of me um, at a distance and then it actually looks pretty good for if, if you were, if it was just me talking or something. But you see a lot of like big YouTube type people, they don't, they just use regular shit and, they, and, and it looks, looks like they're in their basements and uh, with a camera to match and they do really well. So it's not about looks, it's about content. It's about um, character, so I guess. Well, I don't know. What else? Um, if you guys are going to respond at all, let me know what else you'd like to see on live streams or like me doing. 
uh, if there's anything else. I mean, art is the one thing that the Patreon's about, and so uh, I think it's a nice sort of ad hoc replacement for the convention experience in that I'm, I'm doing this, and the people that got the commission can see me doing it. So, and ideally have a chat. I sent the link to uh, to the guy who got. I don't know if he's going. He'll see it afterwards anyway. So. It gets pretty complicated right now to try and arrange good times for streaming, but midday every day is usually good for me. So I'm going to try and do a bunch around 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, and go as long as they need to go sometimes. But uh, And I will try and stick to an 11 a.m. thing for the regular Patreon updates. 11 a.m. sometimes a little too early not for me but for other people in the house who need me to be quiet because bedroom's right there which is a further complication but uh okay so it's not done yet nearly done well, how long have I been streaming it doesn't there we go 42 minutes of shit all right so the good thing about these white pens is you can wash back in and uh, take away a lot of the intensity, but not get rid of the whole thing. Uh, that one's done. That one's that one worked out well. We're just smearing it. I like that one. I like that bit there. You should always want the glints of the light kind of coming off folds of things. Well, I do. My grasp of the English language is not good, so just go with my descriptions of what the hell I'm trying to do. Get that there. Yeah, you shouldn't have too much going on on his glove. But, um, can I put... No, I didn't put white on those spikes. Those ones did. Those ones did. I think that's the only thing I have to do. Yeah, because I like how much white's in this. I don't need acrylic paint on top of the the, the acrylic ink white as well. The problem with this one is, is I have to put my hand across the, the paint. So hopefully I can make a time lapse of this whole thing. It won't be too disrupted by the camera dying. Or the angle. I may have to keep my talking head in the box, which will be weird, but I can trim it back a bit. Uh, no, that should have a little bit there. Uh, bring that back. And then a little line here, because he's coming up. Uh, we should have a line here. Find that doesn't need one on the bottom one just around the jaw he has the fires of hell coming off him so lots of this stuff and very white hot skull I love skulls just let me draw skulls I love you too Rose. I guess that means they're leaving, which we might might get some quiet. So, um, God, every time I, I stare at an image, I see more things I want I want to do, but I want to just peg back the the white on one side slightly, where the white line went over slightly on the line. I need to define it a little more and on this one too a bit there 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 the weird thing about these live streams is i end up putting more work in i get into it and i, I put more work in than kind of sometimes it warrants or i take the hard the hard road instead of the easy boop, boop, boop road that's art uh, and i'm not tired so I'm with it so it's like 
better than a convention, really. Because a convention is always a challenge. You've got to rise to the challenge. Here, it's like an open opportunity, so to speak. Uh, I think this is done. I think... What are we saying? What are you saying, Ethan? Let's pop it up. Why is it not showing up? Oh, it's loading. Commissions always love to see other folks' ideas. Yeah, he just... Uh, he sent me a bunch of um, sketch covers. He didn't really have an idea of what he wanted because it would be sketch cover dependent. He said, pick a, pick a sketch cover. So, uh, I did Ghost Rider. And I think this is it. Oh, now you know what? i got to sign it. It ain't finished till it's signed. With my horrible scroll. But, uh... There is Ghost Rider. I'm actually really happy with the way that turned out. The, how vibrant the colours are to make everything. Yeah, I actually really like that one. I hope you guys do too. Um, see, now I'm settled into the live stream and I'm just talking to whoever. But uh, I should actually go and do some real work now. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of other things to do. Oh, um, if I didn't tell you and I haven't done the update yet, uh, Wormwood Book 2 is now on the secret Patreon store. Uh... I'll push an update about that as soon as I finish this. So, uh, sorry for the wait on that. It took forever to take photos with that camera. Product photos with a little hutch light thing that you talk about. Everything takes about 20 times longer than I intended it to. So, it's like, it's, but I got it done and it's up. So, uh, thank you very much. Cheers, Ethan. Cheers, uh, Red Wolf. Cheers, uh, uh, Keith and anyone else who's here. Uh, sorry about the snafu earlier and uh, I hope this guy likes it I do if he doesn't want it I'll buy it off him um, thank you very very much where well, I put me back on the where's me there we are that's better yeah no thank you very much that turned out really well yeah I actually end up doing pretty good work on these live stream things so I think it's the added pressure so uh, thank you so I'll make a time lapse of this. I'll clean up an edit of this and have that. Uh, that'll go public at some point too. But for now, this is just for you guys. Um, and maybe the Ko-Fi site will have it on their blog. Um, that's the one place. Not many people go there unless they're intending to check the stuff. But uh, predominantly, this is for you. So thank you very much. You guys <clears throat> make living worth possible these days. So And allow me to capture my dreams. And hopefully please you with what I make. Uh, so thank you. Uh, yeah, it was pretty short. 48 minutes. That's not too bad. So this whole thing took a bit under three hours. So not too bad. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I'm going to say how squid and sign off until tomorrow. I'll do another one tomorrow. I'll be here around tomorrow. Um, I will again have to send a link because it ain't public because you guys are special. So, uh, I hope you don't mind me spamming emails with links. So I apologize for that. If so thank you very much. Hail Squid. I'll shut up now. <laughs>